In today's video, what we are going to achieve is we are going to create a drop down list of employees. When I select this employee, and then the total sales figure will automatically appear over here. This is the sum of the sales which they have done in from Jan to July. So whenever I change the uh, employee name, they automatically the sales figure gets updated. Let's learn how we can create such a drop down list and link to earn total sum value using a formula called XLOOKUP. In the sheet, I have a set of data of sales figures for these 10 employees. They have the data for January, February, March, April, all towards July. Now, what we are going to accomplish is if I would select the employee name here, the total sales need to be appear over here. Let's see how we can create the scenario. For that, first, we need to create a drop down list here for the employees. For that, you simply go to data, then click on data validation, click on data validation. From here, select the list, then click here. After that, drag and select the employee list. Click OK. Now you have the employee details in a drop down list. Next, we will use a formula to calculate the sales figures for each employees. For example, if I have this employee name written over here, then the system need to calculate automatically what is the sum of this which is around 3.7 million over here for that we use a formula called x lookup is equal to x lookup open the bracket lookup value in the lookup value we'll select the employee name over here right which means that whenever an employee name written over here system will identify this is the lookup value after that click comma then where I need to look up this name on here so you drag and select the employee list after that add a comma then I need to add the sum of all these sales figure from Jan to July if it's more than that you have to do the same thing for the remaining so I simply drag and select the data then add the plus button then next data for February add the plus button and continue to do the same thing for the remaining this will add up all the sales figures for each employee so I'm adding the plus figure for all these sales figures after that we'll simply close the bracket and press enter now you can see it's showing an error because in the employee list we haven't selected any of them so we can select the first Sarah Williams and you can see this total sales has been appearing over here now if you select the other Emma Johnson this sales figures is appearing here let's just sum it up over here what will be the total what we can do is we can use the formula called alt equals which will sum up all these numbers present up now I'll just drag and drop here and it will calculate the sum now we can compare this with the sales figures calculate over here so shell it has 3.5 which is matching over here so this is simple and easy method to calculate the sum of employee sales using formula called excel lookup video is useful if yes please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much